Hello and welcome to Europa Universalis 4. I am TJ Hafer, and some of you are probably wondering uh, what happened with the uh, Russia Third Rome game. Um, honest answer is that I got into sort of a no-win situation where no matter how I played out the scenario, um, things were going very badly for me. And I'm not saying I'm never going to go back to it, but I needed a break from it um, for sure. So uh, we're going to do something a little different this week. Um, I'm actually going to maybe do a couple different like pilots for different campaigns just to see which ones you guys are most interested in, in seeing me pursue. Um, but you may know that I am a big fan of playing in the New World, and we've never actually done a series for YouTube about playing in the New World. Um, my first game of EU3 and EU4 both actually was as the Iroquois, even before they had any special mechanics or anything. I'm very fascinated with the uh, native history of North America. I have some roots in that uh, that tradition, and it's always fun for me to uh, try to see if I can build up a giant North American native empire and deflect the Europeans. Uh, we're playing as the Chickasaw specifically because I want to try to recreate the Mississippian uh, Empire, which was actually... Um, situated at Cahokia, which is this province right here, and um, we're believed to be the largest civilization to exist in North America, north of the Aztecs, that we know of at least. And um, the Chickasaw are one of the tribes believed to be descended from that civilization. They even have an idea called Mound Builder's Legacy, um, which allows them to uh, construct buildings cheaper. So I think we're going to try to basically do what I always do, take as much land as we can before the Europeans show up, and then try to maintain an independent native state in North America for as long as we can. Um, let's see, we can introduce a vision quest, but I'm not going to do that yet because we... Yeah. Nearly prestige. Yeah, why not? Prestige, that'll, that'll help us out in the long run. I should have boosted stability first. Now we're going to spend more Monarch power on it, but... Um, then Encouraging Divination, we don't need that because we don't have any unrest. And then Religious Sacrifices is a no-brainer. Um, they want us to conquer Tohome, so we will go ahead and take that mission. Um, we are going to rival the Choctaw. They are our natural enemies. And then we want to get an alliance with either the Creek or the Cherokee. It looks like the Cherokee don't want to, but the Creek will accept an alliance with us. Um, <clears throat> how far off are the Cherokee? Not that far, actually. Uh, we could we could stand to butter them up a little bit. Uh, relations, prove relations, let's um, build up our force limit. Chickasaw actually a very strong start because they get plus 25 force limit modifier from their traditions, which no other native faction does. Um, yeah, so the boundaries we're going to try to defend, I think, are going to be basically mostly along the Mississippi, but we'll we'll also we'll also probably take like Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, West Florida, um, as far up as maybe Indiana. Uh, and that'll be that'll be kind of the boundary of our territory, and then everything east of that we're going to try to conquer eventually as well. Let's see, Creek uh, accept an offer into a military alliance. Cherokee now no longer like us because we're allied to their rival. That's fair enough. Uh, on the twelfth of December, we can invite them to a federation. Uh, Choctaw entered a federation lit, uh, led by the Cherokee. That's worrisome. Now, we want to be federation leader. You guys can fuck off with that. All right, so it's going to be us and the Creek against the Cherokee and the Choctaw. That's fine. That's an even fight. Um, let's get a good general. Not too bad. Not, not too terrible. Um, we have a river crossing... Not into Chickasaw, though. Tahome also does not have a river cro crossing into Chickasaw, so we can we can attack both of these places with a fair degree of impunity. Um, let's uh, obviously wait for our army to be built up. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's trying to move over there. <laughs> he's doing some dancing. I can see you dancing. I can see you dancing, mate. All right. We're going to go down to speed three. We're going to combine these armies. We're going to declare war on the Choctaw. Our allies, the Creek. They actually would not join unless we promise them land. All right, well, let's let's see what they... What do they consider? Um, let's, let's call that our land that we want. And then, yeah, we can promise them some Cherokee land. That's fine. Um, the only region of theirs we really want is Tuskegee. And I'm not super concerned about taking that from them, so... Yeah, let's do this. Diplomacy, declare war. We are going to offer them land. And, uh, take Tahome. That's what we want. They're not going to be able to get away. We can hopefully stack wipe them and eliminate them as a threat early on, so that it's 2v1 against the Cherokee. And I marked that as special interest, right? You know, you know that I want that. Okay. Stack wipe. Because if, if we occupy this, and you don't transfer the occupation to me, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be real mad. All right. <clears throat> Excellent. So far, so good. No sign of the Cherokee yet. Occupy the province. All right, you go fight the Cherokee. We'll, we'll handle this. We got this. We got this. You go do something else. You go away. You get out of here. You, you skedaddle. Scram. No friendlies can attach. Go away. Get out of here. We got this. We got this handled. All right, whatever. Go up speed four. <laughs> no sign of the Cherokee whatsoever. We obviously need to separate piece them out, so. Oh look, you better go defend your land. Go defend your land. Your land, your land's under attack. Oh, your land is occupied. Better get out of here and go deal with that. All right. If they're gonna try to like march through the forest or something, I'm gonna be annoyed. There we go. Yeah, they are going to try to march through the forest. Alright. Let's go see where they're going. They might be headed for our capital. Oh, they're going to get their morale damaged by random natives out in the wilderness. I think we can maybe just go home and hang out. Yeah, they're screwed. All right, speed five. We don't have forever. The Europeans are gonna show up sooner or later. And happiness among the artisans. Yeah, we'll pay. Pay to support our local artisans. Oh, there they go. And, oh, they actually won. <laughs> they won the battle, that's hilarious. All right, where are the river flows between Monacan? Okay, we're fine. We can't be in two places at once, so you gotta be able to handle your shit, you guys. If they try to attack our shit, we gotta go, we gotta go deal with that. <clears throat> All right. Looking good. Accumulating monarch power, so we can get some native ideas, which are good to have. Choctaw are building a spy network. Well, they're not going to exist in a minute. Those are going to be our spies. And we will transfer this occupation to you, our good friends of the creek. We don't want you to get too strong, so let's see. This is a mountain province. We'll give you that. 
we're gonna annex all of this. We're gonna take a bunch of money. Actually, let's separate piece out the Cherokee first. So they can uh, give that to the, the creek. They can give us a bunch of money. Um, it's too much money, apparently. 76. Okay, that's good. Looks good. We can't vassalize them, can we? Let's clear that off. Could we vassalize them? Oh, that would become a creek vassal. That's why. All right, 70, whatever it was, 76. All right, cool. That's 100 war score worth. Doesn't make the uh, doesn't make the creek too strong. And then we will just do full annexation from these guys. And we want all of your money that you will give us with the amount of war score that we're spending. Awesome. So, we are at a very good starting position here. We have an ally in the creek um, who have a good opinion of us. We've defeated the uh, Choctaw. We've incorporated them into our tribe. And we have uh, weakened the Cherokee, who are our only other major threat. Might as well improve our prestige. Might as well rival... <laughs> Could go ahead and rival the creek. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's do that actually. <laughs> and then let's get the Cherokee on our side. This is gonna be great. Um, <laughs> playing the playing the Game of Thrones here a little bit. <sighs> Can we lower autonomy in any of these provinces? They're already pretty mad, but. Choctaw, Separatists. They're probably going to rise up no matter what, right? 5.1 years? Yeah. Let's just lower their autonomy. No, we'll wait. We'll wait. It's alright. I would like to get our force limit up before we fight the uh, creek, but... Uh, invite to Federation. Cool. These guys are no longer in our Federation. Okay, and they should uh, they should be desiring an alliance very soon here. There we go. Cool, fantastic, amazing. Um, we're gonna make sure that we are uh, delineating borders here. So yeah, we want this and this, and also that. Um, and if that makes you not like us, then too bad. All right, so they're they're. They're good. Fight Federation. Cool. We're in a Federation with the Cherokee. And they're in our alliance. These are all good things. Um, is there a river crossing here? There is a river crossing to Tahome. There is not a river crossing to Alabama, so we could potentially attack them across there. Um, declare war, we have no CB. They are our rival, though. And we can't fabricate claims because we're not natives. So we need a reason to attack them. So we're going to cancel this mission and hopefully get a mission to attack the creek. All right. A little bit of a rapid-fire start here. I usually don't have this much happen this early on in a, in a Native American game. I shouldn't have, yeah, I should have just not given them any provinces in war. I just, it wasn't, it's just that I wasn't planning to betray them yet. That's really the whole thing. Um, oh, Choctaw is farmlands. Can we move our capital here? Oh, it's not a core yet. Home is now part of our patrimony. We can make it into a state. Excellent. Do we have non-core provinces, or are we good? I think we're good. 
Uh, I don't think we need to be running any edicts at this point. Um, let's see. We will at some point. What areas do we control right now? We have two provinces in Mississippi, one province in Tahome, one province in Tennessee. Let's do... Let's look at our autonomy map mode. Autonomy. Okay, so let's do autonomy in... Train power, manpower, local unrest. We will use development cost eventually. So yeah, let's do monthly autonomy change here. Let's do monthly autonomy change here. And then up here... Um, defensiveness, development cost... Manpower modifier... I don't think it's really worth it to run an edict up there yet. Um, we want to move our capital to Choctaw though because it's farmlands and it's easier to develop. And do we have an inland center of trade near us? Okay, it's way down in Louisiana. We, we want to get up to Co or to Cahokia first, so we'll take the Tamaroa. Um, Tamaroa center of trade. We also, well, is this an inland center? Um, we might end up wanting to take the Ohio Valley. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how we're doing against the Euros when they show up. Well, it's barely costing us anything. We might as well run the, the manpower modifier here. All right. And, as expected, that increased our force limit, which is fantastic. Oh, Tahome is now 0% autonomy. So there's no reason to run <laughs> that particular edict here anymore, is there? I know I'm really min-maxing this, but I want to make sure that we're in the best possible... Oh, we can't change it for another, for another year. Want to make sure we're in the best possible spot when the Europeans show up. All right, can we get a mission? Can we please get a mission? No missions are available. Okay, so this changes everything. Countries that have not fully embraced the Renaissance. Increasing technology cost penalty. We now have some people near us. They want to improve our relations with the Osage. I would rather conquer the Osage. Um, well, let's see what the, uh, let's see what the Diplo situation here is. So the Osage are in a federation with the Wichita. They're allied with the Wichita, and their enemies are the Caddo. The Caddo rivals with the Osage and the Wichita, and they have no allies. Let's see if they want to ally us and come to our federation, and then we'll kill the Osage. And 6th of February... Invite to Federation. Fantastic. By fire, we will have faith in our Mastery of the Flames. Um, do we have a CB against them? We currently do not. Uh, watch, I'm just going to start going no CB wars on all their asses. Right of Passage, Positive Stability. Yeah, we'll bump it up to two. Why not? Um... Missions, no valid missions. Okay. Fire was successful. Production efficiency increased. Fantastic. Alright, we want some missions against our rivals. Oh yeah, I was gonna look and see if I can add another rival. Doesn't look like it yet. Revolt! Um, 20 autonomy in Tahome, that's fine. That means we don't have to change our edict in Alabama yet. We'll just keep it where it is. What were, what were we red on? Oh, it's just a revolt risk thing. 
Uh, we'll recall our diplomat from the Cherokee and we will send a diplomat to the Caddo. And we can invest in a native advancement, so we're definitely going to do clan migrations. <clears throat> so, I think it makes the most sense to go Michigamea, Tamaroa, Cahokia. Yeah, that's that's what we should do. Because we want our eventual capital to be in Cahokia. Oh, we have to choose a native policy. We're going to repress natives, even though we are natives. Because that gets us the most growth. And we are going to start expanding like crazy. And it's going to cost us a lot of money. And then this is going to let us expand our force limit. Again, colonial expansion. Um, yes. I'm going to say yes to that. Say very yes. Tribal adoptions. We uh, now going to take captives from other tribes where we can, then adopt them among our own numbers. What was the other one? Region around us are often inhabited by disorganized and isolated tribes. By having individual clans within our greater people settle in those regions, we can expand our influence. Cool.